We're starting here in the trays section within Minimash. I just wanted to show you, if you didn't know already, that you can create your own trays to populate with materials and activities that aren't already available within the Minimash area. Just click on the Add Tray button, and then here I can give my new tray a name. I'm going to look at uh, dinosaurs. I can find an appropriate image on here and go and give the tray a colour. I've now created this tray called Dinosaurs. When pupils log in using their own username and password, they will be able to see their own personal tray and any trays such as these, which I may create and populate with activities I'd like the pupils to have access to. So now I have the tray, what I need to do is to look at putting something into it. And we're going to go from Mini Mash back to Purple Mash. I'm going to go through to the tray, or rather the folder, that uh, is Dinosaurs. I know that there are some appropriate activities already created here that I'd be able to use with my pupils. All I need to do is to open the one that I'm interested in. Yep, I can see that this is something they're going to be able to do. Go to my burger menu, click on save, and then what I need to do is to actually find that particular folder or tray that I've created. Down to trays, dinosaurs. I open that one and I can give it a name. Um, colour in and click save. This has been saved now into that tray. I'll exit and I'll return to my mini mash and just check that it's where I expect it to be. Trays. Go into my trays, click on dinosaurs and there you see the one colour in and that's been created by me. Now at the moment, to be able to access it, the pupil would have to click on this open button here. But what we can do is make it even more simple for them to be able to locate it by making it into a pin. To do that, just click on this symbol here. And now this will be available from the front page in the pins. Let's just go out back to the home page. You can see already I've got some pins. I've got pirates and shapes on here with all different activities behind these images. I'm going to add the one that I've just created to those. I go to Mini Mash, Edit Pins, and to find it easily, I can just click on the drop down, Trays, and this is telling me that there is a pin available within this particular tray which I have created. I click Add. I'll make sure that one goes to the top. OK. And now when I click on the dinosaurs, you can see it says colour in. And here we have the piece of work straight away. No need to click anything else. People can then just do their colouring in activity. Finish up the dinosaur. Now if they're logged in, um, just as a teacher and everyone's using the same login, what you find when this is completed, I'll just very quickly finish my dinosaur, you will find that when they come to click on the burger menu and click save, they can either save back in the dinosaurs folder, having put the name down at the bottom here, or you could click and save and they could then just navigate to their own personal folder where it's named and dated and they just click save from there and everything's nicely sorted for you. So it's just one way of making things a little easier to point your pupils in the direction of a particular piece of work that you would like them to do. That's using pins in Minimash.